Hello, how's it going? My name is Leo. I am a second year general engineering student um, at the University of Sheffield. Um, so that means I'm choosing my specialisation around about now, which is what I'll go on to study for my third and fourth year on the course. Um, yeah, I absolutely love Sheffield. I wish I was there right now, but circumstances, so what can you do? Today I'm going to be taking you on a bit of a virtual tour of where we should be sitting right now. Um, which is the sort of hub of undergraduate engineering at Sheffield, which is a fantastic building and facilities called the Diamond. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So, this is the Diamond. It's a uh, pretty striking building. It's very centrally located in the university campus. The Students' Union is about four minutes walk that way, and the Information Commons is about two minutes walk. Down either that side street there, or the other one, um, is West Street, which is an area of the city with lots of cafes and supermarkets and stuff like that. So if you forget lunch, it's a minute's walk to go get some. That there is St George's Church, which is actually a lecture theatre, which is owned by the university, which is a bit odd, but it's quite cool. But back to the main event, the Diamond Building. Um, it's where the vast majority of your labs and lectures will be in your first and your second year. So uh, yeah, let's head in. Would you look at that? We're inside. We were standing just outside there earlier, come through the spinning doors and voila, the cafe, the diamond kitchen, great place to grab a coffee. Lots of people grab lunch there as well. It's a very good food. You've got the reception on your right. Staff there are very, very friendly indeed. Can point you in the right direction if you don't know where you're going. Um, over there is the mind sphere, which is a fantastic facility for group work, although there are countless countless group rooms in the diamond and just down there also on the left is seven of the nine lecture theatres i think in the diamond um, and the diamond is normally open 24 7 365 but obviously at the moment it isn't so this is lecture theatre one which is the biggest lecture theatre in the diamond um, but it's a good sort of representation of the facilities in all of the lecture theatres. They all have those white lecterns, which you can see in the bottom right, which are equipped with a computer, a visualiser, um, a sort of touchscreen interactive pad thing that the lecturer can use to write all over their slides, um, and all the equipment which controls the recording stuff. Um, all, well, not all, the vast majority of the lectures um, are recorded and uploaded to a service called Encore, um, unless the lecturer has a very good reason to turn the recording off. Um, so that means if you weren't quite paying attention during the lecture, you can then go back to it later in the day when you get home, look it up, go to that specific bit, fill in whatever you might have missed. Um, so yeah, it's a fantastic resource, which, as I said, all of the lecture theatres in the Diamond have the facilities to do that. So, we've just come up those stairs from the ground floor, that's St George's Church over there. Um, and this is the uh, main access, you have to go through these barriers to get to all the computer rooms, um, all the labs, all the uh, silent studying areas and all the group areas. This site here really is absolutely stunning. Comes across pretty well in this video, but I can assure you in person it's a it's a sight to behold. The diamond has quite a unique design in which it's completely hollow in the inside, which allows an amazing amount of natural light into the building. So when you're in this space, it almost feels like you're outside with the amount of sort of air above your head and all this light, but you're not. Um, all the labs are then sort of looking out into this area um, all the way along the sides of this building. And something very unique about the general engineering course is we actually get to use all of the labs. Some specialisations like Aero, for example, only really use the structures lab and the Aero lab. Um, but we use nearly every single lab in the building, which is an absolutely fantastic thing. Um, next, I'm going to take you to one of my favourite bits. Um, in the diamond, which is a makerspace run by students for students called the iForge. 
So the iForge is what is known as a maker space, which is um, an area for people to come and use their tools and materials to make whatever they want to make. Um, quite a lot of the projects that people are working on are specifically to do with their academic studies. So they might be from module or something, but you're equally very, very welcome and encouraged to bring along, bring along anything you need. Um, so for example, um, I'm very, very into my mountain biking. And in my first year, I was really excited. I'd signed up to go on the mountain biking trip to Wales. And two days before I made the incredibly smart decision to cycle into a tree I completely messed up um, my gears and it would have taken far too long to get a spare part ordered from online. So I came along to the iForge, I talked to one of the reps, I showed them the problem, asked if there was any way of manufacturing some sort of replacement part. And they were like, yeah, absolutely, you can design something, we'll show you how to use a Fusion 360, which is a CAD software, and we can help you CNC um, mill it of aluminium and it will be done in about two hours you can take it home put it back on your bike you'll be sorted did exactly that had a fantastic time in wales and uh, i've learned not to cycle into trees anymore so uh, yeah it's a, it's a fantastic facility um, and it's really quite unique um, in sheffield having it and it being so open um, and then being so encouraging of different projects it's a it's a fantastic fantastic facility So now we are on the second floor. We were standing just down there before we went into the iForge. And from here, you can get a bit of a better look at some of the group rooms up there, which are available to book. And also these bubbles inside of which are um, computer labs. Sometimes these are booked out with timetabled sessions. Other times they're just free for you to go in and use the computers. Again, 24-7, 365. That there is a materials lab which is basically a big old room for breaking things. Great fun. And behind us is one of the high powered computer labs. Spend quite a lot of time there in first year um, working on a project which involves this white square on the ground here, which is basically a robot arena. Um, we use uh, robotics kits and have to program it with uh, Java basically to play a game. It's very good fun, very good introduction to programming. So this is an example of inside one of the labs. This is the fluids laboratory, which we spend a lot of time in again, in first and second year. There's a massive amount of equipment in this room. That right there is a wind tunnel. Um, we are walking past a sort of turbine generator apparatus there. And those little orange workstation things you can see are sort of little mini contained fluids labs in and of themselves. They've got reno uh, reservoirs and pumps and on top you can set up a load of different piping and apparatus to run a load of different um, labs and experimental activities. But the, uh, the biggest thing in this room is that right there, which is a 20 foot water flume, um, which again is used for a whole variety of different things. We were supposed to be using it for one of our design projects um, in which we were making a sort of aquatic vehicle that could be autonomously controlled to collect rubbish floating on top of the water. And I was personally really looking forward to seeing everyone else's drowning and I was uh, floating along the top successfully, but sadly that's not happening anymore, but yeah. So that is the diamond. It really is a fantastic building and you'll end up spending an awful lot of your time there in first and second year either in lectures or labs or doing group work or working privately or just socializing, chilling out, having a coffee in the cafe. Um, yeah, it's an absolutely inspiring building to be in, to be around. And uh, yeah, it really is one of the uh, crown jewels of the Sheffield Engineering Department. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much. So that is the diamond.